Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Star Wars style hologram preset, meaning that you only have to set this effect up one time and then you can drop whatever footage you want in there and be automatically done. Just to show you what an amazing time saver this is, give me 30 seconds and I'll show you how well this preset works. How many seconds was that? I recently just did a video where I had about a dozen of these uh, hologram style shots to do. So this particular preset probably saved me about two hours in the editing room. So for this effect, this is what you need. I have my random green screen effect that I just thought was cool. I have my glitches one, two, and three, and I do have a link below on where you can download these. It's totally free. It's pretty much public domain. Go for it. So the first thing I want to do is set up my green screen effect. Now when the preset is totally done, the green screen effect actually goes last, but setting up this uh, layer first is actually a good way to keep track of my progress. And as I showed before, I actually do the advanced keying out. I don't just do a, a key light because it just looks more transparent than you want. So just come up to your effects and presets, type in the word key, come down here to your third option, the one where it says suppressor, click and drag. So the first thing to do is just, you know, click your eyedropper tool, then go to intermediate results where it says right here, click on screen mat, click on the second screen mat, little carrot right there, bring the black up until all these shadows are gone and then bring the white down to about there basically what you want to see is a solid white and solid black then go back up here to where it says screen mat come back to intermediate results and you just have a much cleaner green screen effect now I'm actually going to start out with the two that are actually going to be the simplest one and three are pretty much a one step deal Glitch number two is actually where it gets a bit more complicated. So the first thing to do is click on my glitch number one. Then come down here to where it says mode. Then click then left click on hard light. And this little icon here under the T, that T is for transparent. Click on that. As you can see, there's a little tiny bit of distortion there. Not a lot. But we're getting there. Next thing to do is click on number three, bring that down. That's just a simple photograph. Click on mode again. Come up here where it says silhouette alpha. Now that glitches one and three are fully uploaded, this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but Bear with me. Go to glitch number two, click and drag it, bring it to the top. Now glitch two, the uh, the visibility, the eye here, it goes off and it actually stays off. This is the confusing part. Next you right click in this gray area, go to new, adjustment layer, then type in DISP, disp. And that actually brings to straight to both effects that I need. Displacement map and turbulent displace. Just a fun time saver I use. Let's go. Displacement map. Click, drag onto the adjustment layer. 
bring the horizontal displacement to 20-ish. Then where it says here adjustment layer, left click on that, and then parent it to glitch number two. This will give it all the effects of glitch number two, but if I turn glitch two on, it looks like this. So keep the eye off. Then go to turbulent displace, click, drag, and here where it says 50, bring that down to about 10 to 15. How's it looking? That looks pretty good. Next one is, again, in your effects preset, type in tint, T-I-N-T. Now this is where a lot of people just kind of vary, but I usually go with a very, very dark blue to replace the black colors, the black shades. Okay. And a very, very light blue to show the brighter shades. And that's pretty much just the effect. There is just one more thing to do, and that's the render. So push stop. Get my ending lined up. And because this entire effect is longer than any clip I'm likely to use, it just becomes much more user friendly. Now I'm going to go up to composition, add to render queue. And now instead of just pushing render and going, click down here on lossless, and where it says RB, RGB, click on that. So we'll go to RGB plus alpha. And this is going to make this an automatic green screen effect, so I don't have to add any effects later after I'm done. Push render. Now for the final effect, come back up to your effects presets and type in GLOW, G-L-O-W. Click and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And let's see, I kind of want the GLOW effect to be around 40. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If you don't have the glow effect, uh, the hologram will just end up looking kind of dark and actually kind of difficult to see. And now, this effect is pretty much done. The only thing left to do is to render it, and there's actually a special way to do that. Do Composition, Add to Render Queue, and down here where it says Lossless, where it says RGB, click on that, and click on RGB plus Alpha. Okay, render. So the next step is just to go to where your After Effects videos render to. Click back into After Effects. Click, drag, and just for fun I'm going to use the thumbnail from the video that this was actually used in. And as you see, because I did the uh, plus alpha render, this is an automatic green screen effect, so I don't have to go through the process of actually chroma keying anything anymore. And that is how you do this. Even though her dancing in front of him like that is kind of creepy. But, hey, what are you going to do? So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask. If there's any new effects you want me to try out, again, this is always fun. If you want to help me out, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.